Hello everyone, it's retro time for Canon, maybe. What? Nikon is shipping uh. and discounting everything just in time for winter sales. This time, the rumors are real about Sony's next mirrorless camera. Get all this and more in this photo news brief. Hi, I'm Vaughn. In this photo news brief, let's start with the official announcement that the Canon EOS M camera bodies are marked as discontinued. The popular Canon EOS M50 and the M50 Mark II are on the list. Some EOS M cameras are still listed in US stores, but once the inventory is out of stock, you're out of time. Let's move on to this intriguing rumor. Supposedly, Canon is considering a retro camera, just like the Nikon ZF. Canon has the Canonet QL17, the Canon P, the Canon F1, and the top-selling Canon AE1. The AE1 is on my dream list. Canon rumors posted that Canon was impressed by the response that Nikon retro camera, the Z8, has received. But not the responses to the ZFC. That was me, sorry. Not to be outdone, the rumors stated that Canon was actively asking customers in China what iconic camera body they would like to see in a new mirrorless body. I can see Canon dropping two new retro cameras, one at ASPC and one full frame. If this rumor is true, we wouldn't find out until a patent application is issued or a leak from an employee, you know how they go, or on the extreme side, we'd probably find out from a nosy camera guy sitting at a park during a trial of a new camera release. And you know how it goes, they released the camera shot on X, formerly known as Twitter. Leave those comments on what Canon retro camera that you would buy for your collection if they released one. Next up is Nikon. Nikon made October a month to remember with the release of the Nikon ZF. Go to the link above. Nikon for the fall and winter season probably won't release anything new. Nikon will focus on rebates and shipping. For your information for all those waiting on their new lens to ship, the Nikon Z 600mm f6.3 is shipping right now and a new batch of the Nikkor Z 180-600mm are now shipping. Check your inbox for Nikon sales. I need to work on getting my own discount codes. I usually have to steal a code to get those extra bases on my discounts. Now for those pesky micro thirds viewers, they just won't leave me alone. I'm a previous Panasonic GH4 owner, go to the link above. I love my Panasonic GH4 until I fell out of love with his contrast detect autofocus system. It was fun while it lasted. But there are two new models that were registered by Panasonic according to 4.3 rumors. The first model has dual 5.1 to 2.4 uh, gigahertz support. This most likely will be the G7 or the SR3. The second model has 2.4 gigahertz support. This is most likely an entry level model. I'm still in love with niche cameras. My Fujifilm X-HS2 Feel that void. I feel like I'm laying down a sacrifice bunt when I'm talking about these niche cameras. Leave those comments if you think the Micro Four Thirds format is still relevant. I know there's still a few of you out there. Finally, Sony has released a special event teaser for 2023 to take place in Japan, November the 8th and 9th. The rumors are the Sony 300mm f2.8 GM lens is to be released and also the Sony A93 with a stack sensor that has been rumored for months just might be announced. Plus Sony is going to announce the world's fastest autofocus and frames per second. And the Sony A1 might get a major firmware update. Sony is always pushing that autofocus envelope. That's all for today's photo news brief. Please watch my other photo news briefs and thank you for watching the channel.